Welcome to Malaysia. Okay. <laughs> What's up? What's happening you guys? And welcome back to Malaysia. Today we are in Georgetown, Penang. And if you haven't watched the previous vlog, definitely check it out. I got a flight from Kuala Lumpur yesterday. And baby, we're about to explore. So Georgetown in Penang is like a super old, um, like historical place. I believe it's a heritage site. So there's lots of old buildings. Where I'm staying is actually a heritage building. So. I'll teach you guys more about that a little bit later but for now I'm gonna explore some of the street art here in Georgetown um, I think there's kind of street art everywhere everywhere it's super popular for the street art so let's go and find some take some pics and yeah I'm super excited I got here last night and I went and got some food and this old guy from Singapore I don't know if he was like Singapore Malay but he said that he grew up in Singapore um, he asked to sit at the table that I was at and I was like yeah okay cool and we were just speaking um, for a little while and he was super super cool like super nice he was so lovely he was saying that he's he's lonely because his wife left him anyway anyway <laughs> um, but he was just stressing that like I should be careful you know not leave my phone on the table or just practice you know caution and awareness and everything so I was a little bit nervous to kind of vlog but I feel like in the daytime it should be okay and just try to be vigilant and not doing stupid things so it should be fine but everyone else that I've spoken to have said that it's really safe here you know not to worry so I don't know if it was just like an old person thing but I think when you travel you should always be cautious about having your camera out or your phone out so yeah but anyway enough talking let's have a little walk around and see what street art we can find Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> So guys, I've made it to Armenian Street, I believe. There's just loads of like shops. It's like a super popular tourist location. <laughs> anyway, it's a super popular tourist location. So if you come to Georgetown, make sure you come to Armenian Street. There's like food stalls, there's gift shops, there's everything. So yeah, it's really cool. Wow, guys, 100 likes and I'll get one of these. <laughs> no, it'll be too, too late by the time you see this video. But how a joke. Maybe I should get one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But look at the mask, you guys. So beautiful. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I just met the sweetest, cutest couple. They were on their honeymoon, I had no idea. But um, yeah, we just exchanged information and stuff and we might do something tomorrow. I just got an ice cream. Um, I sat in the ice cream shop maybe for like an hour. It was so nice and cool. The aircon was just perfect. It was so hot out here. I feel like it's a little bit cooler now, but 
yeah malaysia is definitely warm definitely definitely warm but i think thailand's more hot this time of year anyway so i'm just gonna walk to um i guess it's like i guess it would be the coast of the island penang is an island by the way i'm gonna walk there it's about 20 minutes see what it's like probably just sit for a bit and then go back to where i'm staying so that i can post my youtube video that hopefully you guys have watched by now the kuala lumpur no not the kuala lumpur my story time my go story time i'm gonna post my story time video hopefully you guys will tune in and um yeah i really want to take a nap i'm not gonna lie like i'm so sleepy i really really want to take a nap but i feel like people just be staring at me like why are you staring at me <laughs> hello <laughs> just staring at me like anyway let's walk to the coast and see what it's like you guys, there are so many gorgeous places here in Georgetown. I feel like my camera's not doing anything justice because it's so overcast. I feel like the colors are not popping, but everything is so gorgeous. So, so beautiful. Okay guys, I'm here chilling, right? <laughs> this is gonna be the last time I say anything negative, right? It's not even like super negative, but I'm literally sitting here just baking off in the sunlight. It's bare hot listening to my music, right? And like this man, his wife and their kid, they walk past and the man's like staring into my into my face, right? Cool. Like not aggressively or anything, but just staring. They've gone and they've come back and like he's told his wife and the baby to just like come and sit next to me and trying to like take pictures of, of all of us. And it's like, no, like what? Like you've not said anything to me. Like at least come and say hello. Like say hi, hello or something. Like he's just told me to sit down so that they can take a picture like of me or with me and i'm just like no like no and i don't like whether this is i feel like in any country right the the i feel like the common sense thing to do is to be like hello or at least like at minimum just be like hello like can, can we take a picture hello like picture i'm sure you could you know that that word right because that's what you said to me like picture picture man told me to sit down <laughs> I was like no I got up and I was like no the next person to do this I'm gonna say like they need to pay me because I'm literally just here chilling and that just gave me so much anxiety like I'm not a tourist attraction like what the hell anyway the black couple that I met earlier um, they're on their way back here from their tour so we'll probably just do something I think we're gonna just make a plan to maybe do something tomorrow but um, that my heart is just like racing like I'm just like what that just made me so uncomfortable I don't like it. This is the thing, like, I feel like traveling when you're black, a lot of these places maybe haven't seen black people before. Or even if it's just because they think I'm pretty or something, they think I'm pretty because I look like something that they haven't seen before, which is like, ugh. I don't know, I'm so conflicted because it's like, at one hand, on one hand, it's like, you can't go to other countries and expect people to not like, look at you because you look different. That's completely fine. But to tell me to sit down so you can, you lot can take a picture with me, that's crazy like what do you think this is i'm not a tourist attraction but yeah anyway that just made me really really uncomfortable that's pissed me off i'm not gonna lie but i'm not gonna let it ruin my day anyway so yeah i'm just gonna go back to listen to my music but it's super super beautiful here um it's really hot like i just feel like i can't move so i'm just chilling um and yeah i'm probably gonna go and get like a nice juice or something when these lot come so yeah <laughs> i'll check in with you guys later Thank you. <laughs> wow. It's your time to shine. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is the lovely couple that I met. I already told them about you. Oh, okay. yeah. this beautiful couple. <laughs> Um, and we just got some watermelon and lime juice. Yeah. Ready to try. It's so good and refreshing. Try yeah. it. Is it nice? It's Ooh! It's a little kick, right? Yeah. It's quite sweet. Mm. Oh, it's quite sweet. This is, yeah. This is great. This is actually great. It's good, right? <laughs> Everyone, next time you have watermelon, put yeah. lime. Yes. It will change your life. Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Do you know what? I. I knew about that ages ago when it came out, but I never. Used it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why are you saying no, no? <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? Why? Why? Why are you like, no, no? No, it's not. It's the one that can be bothered. I want to save my stomach. Oh. <laughs> Plus, um, oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, that was interesting. Guys, we have ended up at, what was it? Chu Jetty? Yeah, yeah Chu Jetty. Chu Jetty. Um, we thought we saw like a, a food jetty. place. <laughs> no, there's no jetty to chew. Um, <laughs> we thought we were coming to a food place and then there was a temple and then we kept walking and now we're here, but it's so cool. Like there's loads of markets. It's just super cultural, I feel like, with a sprinkle of tourism, the shops and stuff. <laughs> Airbrush, it's not real. It's not oh, for them to see. I'll put oh, something over it. Yeah. I'll put the view or something. But oh, I just feel like the conversation we're having is very, really, very valuable right yeah. now. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're happy to. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I was asking, like, when it comes to that, fair enough. Okay, like you have some sort of belief in a god or a creator somewhere. Mm. What, what are your? Have you thought about like you know life and death and? That's sort of, that's I don't know. Kind of I don't know if it's gonna sound strange, but I feel like I think about death a lot. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that's the one thing we're guaranteed in life. Mm. So, what do you think about it? I think it just, like you said, it's the only thing that's promised, right? Mm. So I feel like I used to be scared, but I really try to just make peace with it mm. and just be like, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, do I, I? I don't know what my idea of heaven would would look like. Yeah. I am a bit of. I guess a bit of a scientist um, in the respect of like I do feel like energy is not destroyed yeah. so I feel like even if you pass your yeah. spirit or the energy that is in your body yeah. it goes into something else whether that's like a different form or yeah. it goes into the earth and yeah. you know I feel like everything is alive yeah. so yeah. you will go into the earth your energy is there or wherever you go yeah so there is something else yeah but I just don't know if you know the picture of heaven that people give you yeah. we're all walking on clouds yeah. and there's the big gates and yeah. I don't Feel like I can resonate to that. Yeah, yeah. Do it okay. Thank you Thank you just for this food. Help us enjoy this food and this conversation. You can hear me for amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, for me, my understanding of life is we're not just the body. There's a spirit. There's a spirit, soul, body mm. kind of situation. And the body is done away with. We know that mm. it goes back to the ground. It rots. It smells. Yeah. You, you know, we, we know that decays. Mm. But what about your your mind, I yeah. guess your your mind, your mm. soul. Yeah. What about your spirit? Like whether it's going to a place with God or a place without God. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, mm. it's one or the other. Yeah. Mm. That's what happened in hell. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 This is Malay food. It's Malay, yeah. Oh, Malay. This is Chinese, Chinese food. Ah, okay. Uh, the laksa, which is um, action laksa. It's a sour sort of taste. Um, this is a dry bakute, slur cooked, yeah. and that's a wet one. Mm. And then these are just nibbles because you know yes. why not? Yeah, yeah. What what is it? Um, so it's like chicken and pork. Yeah, oh. So the ones that are wrapped to chicken, the others are pork. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. You guys know what you're doing. Hey, <laughs> hey guys, as you can see, it's a lot later. <laughs> I just left Ingrid and. Davis at the food court that we were at. I don't even know if I got any footage of it, but we were just having such good conversation. Like I really love having deeper conversations with people. And we were just speaking about, I don't know, spirituality, religion, God. I just had lots of questions um, pertaining to like religion and how they have their faith and stuff. And it was just a really, really good conversation. Oh my God, they're doing lanterns. They're so cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah, super cute. Oh, it was just such a, I just really valued the conversation with them and I feel like I have these moments where I feel like I meet certain people and the conversations I have, I feel like it's God speaking to me or speaking to me through people because I don't know, we're just in the middle of, Mal oh, what the fuck? I feel like we're in the middle of Malaysia in a food court, like we could speak about anything but we're speaking about like the word of God and I just, I don't know, I just, yeah i just appreciated it and they prayed for me before i left and i was just like oh my gosh like this is just so beautiful like this is just super super beautiful and i'm always open to like i don't know hearing about people's faith and stuff like i don't know 
I don't even know if I'm making sense, but yeah, it was just really, really beautiful and valuable to have that time and those conversations with them. But I had to leave because I was meant to, um, I actually made plans with someone staying at the place that I'm staying at to get some food. So yeah, I'm just walking back. I'm sweaty, it's so hot. I probably need to have a shower, but I don't want to take really long. I still need to post my YouTube video. So I'm kind of a mess right now, but let me walk back and then we will see what happens next. Hey guys, it is another day. I feel like I'm being a really bad vlogger right now, but there's just so much to see and so much to explore. So I've just been lost in in the vibes of Georgetown. But today, hopefully, I want to head to Penang Hill. Um, there's a really amazing view and I think there's like different stalls and stuff to do and see. So I'm gonna head there. Um, it is raining like crazy right now. Um, Oh, my friends here. My friends that I made are here, Davis and Ingrid. Let me quickly head down. Oh. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is, this is this how you're hiking? We're hiking, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> like a hike, hike. Oh, like to be a... honest, we don't know how. You know, it will be. It might not be messy. I just don't think your white shoes. My sh I, these are gonna go in the bin, to yeah. be honest, okay. just afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Do you think? What do you think I should bring? Like a raincoat? Yeah. Because I have an umbrella, but that's not really practical, is it? No, that is. <laughs> it's saying welcome. You have entered. Say hey, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this big. Oh. Okay guys, we are doing a hike up to Me. Penang Hill. I mean, we're not going all the way up. We're not going all the way up. Oh, well, around Penang Hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think this one said what? About half an hour? This is what he said, if we survive. If we survive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Maybe and there's high. there's loads of oh, monkeys. Wow, for a second I thought the stairs had finished and we now have to. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Ain't like, no you know way. What? Let's go back to this Indian restaurant. <laughs> Can it, can it identify itself? <laughs> the jungle keeps saying hello. By force. But it sounds. Can you hear? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's above us, I think. Yeah. Wow. yeah. It's well, probably some kind of bird. Yeah. Maybe a, a, a skinny bird. Why a skinny bird? <laughs> Why are you fat shaming the birds? <laughs> so, you guys, this is trail number five. Um, and there are some stairs to walk up. I think this one is only half an hour long, so it's good if you're like a beginner to hiking, but there's various different trails, I believe. So if you're more advanced, you can go for a different one, but we're gonna go for this one. <laughs> we just bumped into locals. The gentleman was 67 years old and he's hiking up here. Not even, he didn't even look sweaty. He looked fine. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you from? from London! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you! Wow! They're so sweet! Yeah. See, I feel like in these Asian countries, the life expectancy is so much better yeah. because they do things like this. Yeah. I feel and like in yeah. England, yeah. this is not four times a week! Yeah. Four times! Yes, yeah, so I'm just seeing this wow. baby monkey, sir. So. Is that monkey? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Look how quick. No, squirrels. Squirrels. Squirrels, yeah. Anyway, they're going quickly. Very quick. Wouldn't it be amazing to be an animal? No, 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 no. No? Because I mean, that means I'm going to have to share this place with snakes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I can't be used to that lifestyle. Wow, we still have. She said 25 minutes. 25. Yeah, we've just gotten started. We're sweating like no more. Yeah. Hey. And we've been told that, you know, could be two meter snakes out here. That's taller than us that look like the roots of the trees and if you see the roots and that's the vicious one no the that brown might, one we, that oh, we don't know that yet it's the non-venomous one i think yeah i hope i, I hope. pray um we're just going with the vibes hey, you know yeah, we're trusting god stick yeah, yeah. maybe we should have a stick though. the stick i don't know if yeah. i'm holding the stick because it all the had stick. the stick but, but the thing is i'm not sure if i grab a stick and it's a snake so i have to <laughs> press it out <laughs> We 
we've made it you guys to I believe it's station number five or something number five it's actually like tor torrential raining on and off but it's quite refreshing because the hike up it was very humid very very hot and sweaty but once you get quite high I feel like the temperature cools down so it's nice and cool now but just raining so I'm probably gonna have to put my camera away so it doesn't get damaged but would definitely recommend um, you do need to have some level of a little bit of baseline of fitness I feel like or you can just stop and take a lot of breaks but it is quite steep climbing up and most of the way is stairs but some of the way um, is just like a path like like this but it's all uphill so just be mindful <laughs> he's so strong I can't get over it 66 <laughs> main attraction do this Hey! <laughs> Look how strong this man is, you guys. He's so fit. What the hell? Everyone's so amazed. Hi, doggy. I think they're okay. <laughs> over here he said they're gonna have a party this Friday right <laughs> <laughs> do you know how you have to hike up this hill yeah. to get here then they'll have a party we said how do you get back down <laughs> roll <laughs> roll down after a couple of drinks as well they have yeah. a whole like case of beer yeah. that they carried up ready for the party yeah. they're strong <laughs> I don't know where they got it from I don't yeah, know they're oh, no, so they strong. carried it up they yeah it up. on their back all the gym equipment they brought up piece by yeah, piece the gym, so I'm not sure you made a video of it the gym I, how oh, I don't know if I did so we have finished, we descended from the hike. Oh my gosh, my knees are shaking. But now we're at the Botanical Gardens, which is right next to the entrance number five to the hike that we just went on. And it's so, so beautiful again. I feel like Malaysia has the best variety of greenery and plants and stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy this little montage. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is beautiful. This doesn't even look real. He's okay, he's okay. Guys, can you see all of these these dots? Sorry, the vlog. These monkeys, they're terrorists. They try to come and trouble us for a coconut. They really came. Oh, and showing teeth. Yeah. I'm so, I hate them so much. Yeah, like I feel like this looks like chaos on a plate, but the smells are delicious. Yeah. This is nasi kanda, and I got um, this rice. I got this, I think this is cabbage, it's some cabbage, kind of cabbage. Yeah, cabbage yeah. Um, I think this is prawns and potato, and then I think he gave me some, some beef on the top, and then this sauce. I don't know what the sauce is. I think it's like some It's like a chutney, right? Chutney, yeah, yeah. Chutney, yeah. And yeah, we're gonna feast. Look at the plate. Hey, hey. Wow. Wow, wow, look at the egg as well. Come on, my Ghanaian brother. <laughs> wow. We have been doing up tourist tourists. Well, not even tourists because we're in the village. But we found this mall and we're gonna have a look inside, see what's there. After that hike, I don't, my knees don't have it to jump down here. They'll break. <laughs> my knees. They will. You have, you have used them enough today, bro. I have, yeah. I have. I don't know how they, how they indicate to work. What? That's so funny. That's something one of my uncles would say. That's so hilarious. Absolutely. <laughs> 
you right. survive the snakes this and monkeys, the monkeys yeah. and dogs. It has that monkeys. monkeys. Ooh, it smells nice. So much food. <laughs> so cool. The people are so nice. Ooh, so much food. Mm. <laughs> I feel like we are in the village, you guys. I'm not seeing any tourists. None of that. Like this is this is the sticks for sure. For sure, for sure. Ooh. Yum. So they are peanuts and I think they even add like this sweet thing. Oh, like condensed. Oh, is that ghee? Uh, no, it's like sweet corn. Yeah. It is my final day. And I'm just getting to breakfast, so I found this little place. I was actually walking somewhere else, but I wasn't too sure if they would be open still. I just stopped here. This place is Restaurant Roti Chennai Jalan Argil. Ar Argil. Um, I'll show you guys afterwards, but the guys kind of just ordered me to come inside, so I kind of just came inside. I told them I only have like seven ringgit left to spend, so they kind of just said, okay, get a roti with some sauce and an egg and a drink, and that will be seven, so yeah. This is going to be my first time trying Roti Chennai. I've been meaning to try it since I've come to Malaysia and I have not so today is the day and today's my brother's birthday as well. Happy birthday, big up you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat and then I think I'm going to walk to the Blue Mansion and check that out and then I feel like by the time I do that, I'm probably, I can probably do some like one more thing and then I'll probably have to make my way back to the homestay that I am staying at to get my bag and then go to the airport so yeah it's been so nice being here and exploring and seeing the fusion of culture it's, I feel like there's nowhere that does it quite like this okay you guys so this is breakfast <laughs> so this is the roti I don't know if it's egg inside I feel like he said something about egg but I don't see no egg and then this one is just curry sauce and you just dip it and that's kind of all I wanted definitely wearing white definitely need to be careful but yeah let's see how good this is guys the contrast between new and old here in Penang in Georgetown is so interesting because this street for example everything looks so old beautiful but like so old and you know some things are closed but then you'll go down another street and like there's like all bars and stuff like that and it's just like wow everything is just so I don't know there's just a huge contrast it's really nice but I'm just walking to try and find a watch shop because my camera is broken um, and someone told me to come here excuse me do you know there is a watch shop Bookshops. yeah Bookshops. yeah anywhere here uh, where did that go? Uh, this way yeah okay thank you another thing okay so i've realized right people be staring at me because maybe they just haven't seen someone that looks like me before right but when you actually speak to them and stuff or like interact with them they're actually super super nice and super helpful so you just gotta get out of your head of being like why are they looking at me da, 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 but just say something like speak and sometimes they will still like not really maybe smile or something but you're not gonna know unless you break the ice right so yeah that's what i've learned <laughs> So as you can see you guys, I'm at the Blue Mansion, um, which I, to be honest, I don't really know much about it. I just thought it looked pretty. Um, but I didn't know you can't just kind of buy a ticket and go inside. The tours that they do are guided or non-guided and you can just have an audio tour. But they only let people in like every hour because it's also a hotel. So they kind of just have to do it at a certain time, I guess. But the next one is at 2 p.m. I need to be back at my hotel for around like three, four-ish, so. I kind of don't know if I should like hang around here. To be honest, I just want to get like a cold drink because it's so, so hot. <laughs> it's so boiling hot. And the entrance fee to get in is I think 35 ringgit for both the guided and the audio tour. So it's definitely something that you can check out if you're into like history and stuff like that. Um, I should have probably asked my friends who went here, uh, Ingrid and Davis, whether it was worth it or not. I just want a cold drink. My, my tits are sweating. <laughs> 
I'm sweating so bad so I might just have a look around this area I don't think I've actually walked around this part yet um, and see if there's like a nice little cheap shop they do have a cafe which is part of like the blue mansion but obviously it's quite pricey because it's like tourist prices so yeah I'm gonna have a little walk around I might start heading back to where my homestay is also because it's just so hot it's so hot but yeah let's see that guy's just Wow. <laughs> You're so beautiful, wow. My lady shot on my lady. All right, you guys, I didn't end up finding anywhere to fix my camera, but it's okay. Um, I'm in the grab now on the way to the airport. So this brings us to the end of my Malaysia adventure. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Honestly, I feel like Malaysia is such a cool place. There's so much culture here. I think it's definitely worth the visit if you are in Asia or planning a trip to Asia. So put it on the map for sure. As always, if you have enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.